Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you had a great Thanksgiving weekend, got to spend a ton of time with your family. I know that I did. My nephews came in, as well as my parents, if you were following me over on Instagram. Instagram and TikTok are very important, just so you know. I do upload there pretty much daily, so if you're looking for more motivation or just really anything to do with my life, working out, book recommendations, really anything, go ahead and check out my TikTok and my Instagram is just a cleaning affair like it is here, but I did upload there all weekend and kind of kept you up to date with when I was uploading and just planning to do things, but I was so happy to get to spend time with my family. It just made my day and my boys were just so excited because my nephews are about around the same age. All of my nieces and nephews are around the same age as, as my kids because me and my sisters are only, uh, I have a twin sister and then my older sister is 23 months older than me. And so all of our kids are around the same age because we were all pregnant at the same time, multiple times. <laughs> so that's how that worked out. But Today was a little bittersweet because they did pack up to leave back to Pennsylvania and they were just not happy. They were sad about it. They were crying. No one wanted the other one to leave. It, it was just sad, but I hope that the boys will always stay best friends with their cousins and just have that really close relationship like I did have with mine growing up. Uh, if you are new here, I am a military spouse. My husband is still serving in the military, so we do not live in the same state as my family. We haven't for the last 12 years. Uh, we currently live in Kentucky. We just moved to this house in March from South Carolina. So it was a little bit of a change. Uh, we're looking at the seasons now. It's supposed to snow eventually. And it's just crazy to have all four seasons again, especially since we were in North Carolina before South Carolina. So we just had, you know, a month of winter and it didn't really snow unless you got that freak snowstorm and they never knew how to take care of it. Anyway, like I said, I hope you guys had an amazing time with your family. Now it's time to get back on track. I actually filmed these videos before Thanksgiving. It's just I did not have time to edit the videos, but you could just see this room was a disaster. I do have a four-year-old that you can see rolling around on the floor while helping clean. <laughs> and this room was just bad. And I wanted to get the Christmas tree up in here. This is normally where we open presents because I just don't like having all the stuff downstairs in your way up here. It's nice to have it out of the way and just, yeah, the mess can stay confined up here, <laughs> but I do plan to get rid of this couch as well because I've just had it for about 10 years and it's falling apart, but it works for now. But I know I'm rambling. I just have so much to say to you guys. I feel like I haven't talked to you in like a week, but we are going to be tackling a whole bunch of messes, deep cleaning the house, getting things ready for my family to come, even though they have already left now by the time I'm editing this video and getting up all of the Christmas decor. So just make sure you are staying tuned and hitting that subscribe button. It's completely free. It helps out my channel and hit that alert bell. So you are notified when I do upload, I do upload one to two times a week. My channel is all about cleaning, decorating, DIY projects, and overall homemaking with a busy chaotic schedule as a working mama three. So anyway, let's just jump into today's video and get this laundry done. Yes, I am on my way.
I got new bedding from Target. It is going on my new bed frame that we'll be putting up later in today's video. So make sure you're staying until the end. If you want to see how I change up my room, I will be deep cleaning my bedroom among other things in today's video. But I was just so excited to kind of get the bedding washed and that way it's ready to go when I do get the bed frame up and we can finally decorate my bedroom. Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. Go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe baby, with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe baby, with you Making plans of what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon Not till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe baby, with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe baby, with you I'm just taking the Bissell Pet Solution with the Febreze scent and kind of going over my carpet up here because this is the kid's playroom and you can see that there was Play-Doh stuck to the carpet and everything. I actually want to move the Play-Doh downstairs and put it in the cabinet so that Caden can only get into it when he's going to play with it and put it away and I can kind of keep a better eye on the Play-Doh. Uh, if that makes sense, but I definitely needed to give this carpet a deep clean. I do have two dogs that just for some reason like to mess up my carpet. So I'm going to deep clean the carpets really quick. I know I get a lot of questions about how come I deep clean my carpet so much and regularly. One is to maintain and keep my house smelling nice and fresh because I feel like we all kind of go nose blind to our own house smells, but also just because I have dogs and kids and I know how dirty they get and it, they can leave stains and stuff. So I just try to keep up with it. And my videos are spaced out. I might film, but it might not go up for like two weeks. So like it may seem like I'm doing it all the time, but I'm really not. So I just kind of wanted to let you know that's why. Ooh, 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 ooh. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy love and So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe baby, with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe baby, with you
I'm just going to start by washing my bedding, getting everything off this bed, cleaning up the bedroom, hitting the, the master bathroom in here, cleaning that up and decorating in it. I'm trying to do very minimal decor this year. I don't want to overwhelm myself with decorating. So I tried to split it up. I tried to do very minimal. So you'll see throughout my series that I'm trying to not be overboard, but who knows what's overboard really for Christmas. We all just love a little bit of Christmas spirit. So <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I do, I really am trying to not go overboard with decorating this year. I lose my breath whenever I see you You stole my heart, what is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others You said my I got a new duster and I want to try it out. I got the idea from Jamie's Journey, like one of my favorites. And I just haven't dusted up here in forever. So I'm going to dust up here with this new damp duster. I'll show you guys in a second what it looks like. But I'm super excited to try it out. Hi guys, as you can tell, it is already a new day and we did already decorate the tree out there with the Grinch theme that the kids are super excited to do. And we are tackling my bedroom because we did get a new bed frame. We're about to put it in here when my husband gets back from my daughter's archery tournament that she had today. And so I just wanted to get little extras done in here. I really would like to get to the closet today to organize it. I mainly focus in this room today in today's video, but it might not happen. We'll see what happens because the closet can wait for another day. I just kind of want to get things done before my parents come for Thanksgiving as well as put out new decor. So what better time than to just take your time and decorate. <laughs> and before they come, I wanted to like tackle a few areas in the house and make sure they were deep cleaned, like the living room carpet that I did in the last video. And then I had deep cleaned the floor out there because there was just stuff everywhere on the floor in the playroom. But I think it turned out really nice. I'm not planning to put much more in that room because it is a playroom. And I just don't want to deal with the decor when I'm cleaning, like adding something extra to my already busy task by making the room too cluttered. But I'm going to, while I wait for my husband, I'm going to tackle my bathroom, clean it up really quick, get that all cleaned up, and then I will probably hit the decor in there and then we'll come back to the bedroom. And then we might finish downstairs by cleaning up a little bit because I have guests coming over for the Steelers game tomorrow. So super excited for that. But yeah, let's tackle these messes. Like the moon is the snow, we don't care about the others. You set my world on fire. You're my heart's desire. I just want to love you, just want to hold I don't know what it is you do I just want you 
All right, let's talk about some highs and lows to the week. Uh, My high definitely for this week was getting to see my family. That was number one. I absolutely loved seeing my family. It means the world that my mom was always coming to travel and see me as well as me and my husband always going back to see them. We actually are going on a cruise in January and my mom is flying out here to watch my kids for the week while we are gone. So I will keep you guys updated with videos and where I'm at with that, but I will just be in the moment for this vacation because me and my husband have never had like a vacation ourselves. We never had a honeymoon because we got married at a courthouse, really young, military, you know, all of the things. So we never had the money for a honeymoon. So this is technically our first ever vacation together without, you know, where we are actually doing something we want to do, you know, instead of just going home to visit family. So I'm super excited about that. But my, my mom is just truly the best person ever. And then my low to this week, not really a low, but it's just like everyone's getting sick from the, I guess that's a low, but everyone's getting sick from just each other. And like my family coming to visit, they, my dad was sick and now everyone else is getting sick. And it's just, it, it's a little hard. And then getting back on track after the holiday weekend, just trying to find a groove. My house is, is a disaster. Um, the kids were here. There was... I think seven kids here. So it was just crazy. It, it was a lot of kids. So our house is atrocious and I plan to clean this week because I just need to get my house back on track, get myself back on track, just all the things. So let me know down below what your highs and lows of the week. I love hearing from you guys. Come on in, come on up, come on over for the merriest time of year. Come on up, come on in, get together for a good time, smile, my dear. Come on in, come on up, come on over. We'll be dancing round the tree. So let us have a swinging Christmas just like one, two, three. While my floor is dry, I'm going to come down into the kitchen and kind of tidy up the downstairs, vacuum mop, all of the things because it just needs done. Like I said, I was preparing for my family to come and I haven't mopped in a while. So I wanted to get bust out my tin uh, mop and kind of vacuum mop really quick and then do all the dishes, clean up the kitchen island off. And I did get a new sink if you have not been following me on TikTok. I think I uploaded it here as well on YouTube shorts, but I did get a new sink finally. The one I ordered did not fit. Um, I went to go put it in and it was too small. So we had to run to Home Depot and I had to kind of just settle for the one that was there because we already ripped out the sink and there was no point, but I did pick out a nice sink that I really do enjoy. I just like the one that I paid a sale price. I paid 50% off for the original sink and it's everything I wanted. It just was too small. So it is what it is, but Home Depot is having sales. So if you're looking for a new kitchen sink, go online and check them out. So we better make the most of what we've got So take your neighbor by the hand And join the dance parade Before the clock strikes And it's all too late
Can't forget about the one with the red nose When I fly high, my sleigh still stay ten toes Bring the beat, bring the trees, bring the cheese Put the lights up, tis the season Me no Grinch types, no Ebenezer Don't believe this, y'all need Jesus Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blingin' Carol singing, favorite season Sleigh bells ringing Carol singing, favorite season. They said, Say, Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah? I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my bag, yeah? They said, Say, Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah? I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my bag, yeah? They said, Say, Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah? I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my bag, yeah? They said, say, Nick, what you got up in that bag? I got racks, racks in my sack or in my bag. Merry Christmas, everybody. I feel like my Tenko does amazing. It just gets everything. Like, it's just so good. I absolutely love it. It does better, I think, than my Bissell did, my Bissell Crosswave. And it's cordless, which makes it amazing. And I don't run out of battery doing my whole bottom floor. It last the whole time which is amazing and it picks up so much stuff so i'm very happy with it i'm glad i purchased it and it's not even the newest model it's like the cheap it's the cheaper one from walmart i think i have it linked down below in my description but yeah if you're looking for an awesome vacuum mop that's affordably priced check out the tinko especially with the black friday deals going on right now i'm sure you can get this for a steal especially a newer model you could probably pay the same price i paid for this one for a newer model online. So just make sure you're checking them out. It's Cyber Monday. Check out all those deals while you can. But also don't be bamboozled because we all know sometimes stores say it's on sale, but it's the same price that it was originally or they make up 
they mark up the sale price and then they like say, oh, $200 off from the price that it was. It is just weird. Anyway, I'm rambling a little bit, but love it. And now we're going to go back upstairs and tackle the rest of my bedroom. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss, still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted, so now Let me tell you why, what is up with your smile It's impossible, not melting, irresistible When I look through your eyes, not even sky's the limit I used to be satisfied, stayed over the Okay guys, so I bought these pillowcase, these pillows from Hobby Lobby on my recent haul on TikTok and I love them, but I'm not loving them with the beige and then this is like a white beige linen color. So I'm like, I don't know if it's too beige now on my bed because the sheets are beige, you can see like my problem, you know? And these are gray, just because that's what I had before and I forgot, but I don't, I can't buy new pillow covers for those. So I think they're just gonna stay gray. So it is what it is. But I don't know, what do you guys think I should do? Do you think I should put, leave the beige on these pillows, but we also have these pillows over here that I'm probably gonna wash and just kind of set in the guest room for now, I think, for now. But do you think I should put them back on this bed with the white cover that matches that and put it right there behind the beige pillows? Because do you think that would help or do you think that's just too many pillows? Because I have to think about the fact that me and my husband do sleep with two pillows each. And these are Tempur-Pedic. We just bought them. They're the Castle Love brand again on my Target TikTok haul that I just did. But I don't know if it's just too much pillows that I'm gonna have to pick up all the time and then also I paired this with same thing got this from Target it is green but it's showing up I don't know if it's showing up green or I'm colorblind guys so sometimes it looks brown sometimes it looks black and then sometimes it looks dark green so but I don't know if you're picking it up on camera or what but I think it looks cute and then I got this oversized waffle from Target as well what do you guys think with like the final picture? Do you think I should add anything? Maybe change out those two pillows for a red pillow in the center for Christmas or just leave it? Cause I do like those pillows, they're really cute. And if I get really close, you'll see they like shine and sparkle. I don't know if you can see it cause it's already dark out by the time we're finishing this video. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear them. I'm 
We are finishing today's video with just hanging a few things that I just got. I got these big printouts from Smallwoods. This is not sponsored. I wish it was, but these were expensive, but you get discounts and I always wait for an extra percentage off, like 30 to 40% off. I got these for Veterans Day, their sale, but they just turned out so stinking cute. I'm gonna put them above the bed. I'm so excited to show you guys these and I appreciate you guys watching today's video and watching until the end. It means the world to me that you guys are here every week. And I'm gonna hang that up. I know it's <laughs> just off on the side, but I figured I'd mention it and I'm just gonna put it up right there. I lied. So this will be the end of the video. I will show you uh, after of my bedroom, but my son came in here and shattered the tree that was sitting here. So I'm going to use this one instead because what I have on hand and just put it right there. I think that looks cute still, but yeah, that's it. I want to see it. See That brings us to the end. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like the new bed frame. Let me know down below if you do. And I hope that you will hit that subscribe button and there will be plenty more Christmas decorating coming to my channel. This is part two of my cleaning series. So make sure you are subscribed and hit that alert bell. I will see you guys back next time.